All right, welcome back to Central Valley Buzz, everybody. I'm your host, Chuck Leonard, and uh, I want to bring in my next guest, Zoyer Zendel. Zoyer. Nice to meet you. Or be nice here to again. see you again. Nice to be how, here again. How are you? Good, good, good. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, Zoyer, you're here to uh, promote uh, Transgender Day of Remembrance. That's right. And this is uh, uh, your organization, Trans Emotion. Uh, mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about your day. Uh, Transgender Day of Remembrance is actually an international day now. Um, it's a day to honor uh, the lives of uh, individuals, transgender individuals who were murdered. Um, and we will have a memorial in our event and read each name of those who passed away to honor them. It also serves as a dual purpose, um, also to celebrate gender diversity and those who are gender nonconforming in our community and also transgender individuals who um, contribute and give back to society. So, yeah, okay, can, I, can I ask a question? Sure. You said transgender non-conforming. Uh-huh. Okay, and uh, I, I, I got to tell you, Zoyer, that we've known each other for a few years, mm -hmm. and, and the reason that the buzz brings people from trans emotion on mm -hmm. is that I feel it's important to educate people. Sure. And sure. I think with uh, some education, sure. maybe some of the questions and some of the the, the uh, hate and stuff might right. go away okay so sure sure I, I welcome you to the show as I do all of you, all of your other friends at trans emotion but what is a transgender non-conforming well transgender itself is an umbrella term um, meaning that there are different types of transgender individuals it's a broad term to include um, individuals who are gender diverse will say that in our society it's pretty much you know mandated you know sometimes unspoken that you have to be either a man or a woman and that is based on your anatomy um, for individuals who would not fit into the gender binary system that says you have to be either a man or a woman contingent on your binary on your anatomy um, for those that don't fit into that, they would be considered transgender. It's a very broad term for individuals whose um, sex and gender don't necessarily line up, that their, their gender expression, I guess, contradicts what society says um, they should be or act like depending on their anatomy. So folks that uh, may consider themselves and own the term gender bending, um, those folks would be considered transgender. Gender nonconforming um, itself, it just means that you don't fit into that binary. Um, some individuals uh, will seek hormone replacement therapy, some will have surgery, but not all of them. Not all of them. Like I said, it's a wide range. Think of it as a spectrum, a, a wide, um, large spectrum of individuals who are gender nonconforming, who do not fit into so what society says their gender should be that is transgender. I feel that the gay community has come just leaps and bounds sure. over in my lifetime. Sure. And, but transgender is still yeah. really confusing to some people. And uh, like they're like, I'm okay with the gays, but I don't really understand the transgender people. Mm -hmm. So is that, am I right? Am oh I, yeah, mm -hmm. oh yeah, yeah, I can definitely speak to that. I think what it is is because there's no, I guess, there's, it's more of a coming out process as, you know, gay, lesbian, bisexual, etc. Um, whereas with trans people, they can't, they have difficulty conceptualizing that what? Your sex and gender are two different things. The sex is the anatomy. The gender is how they, people see themselves in their mind. And, and so, just because a person's transgender, doesn't mean they're gay. Right. Right? Right, right, okay. right, right. Because uh, a, a, a born female uh, uh, transgendering into a male right. doesn't necessarily now want to sleep with women or men. It doesn't, it, right. it, it doesn't, that, that, that doesn't mean anything. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. People don't even think, think that far sometimes or they assume that it just means that they're really, really, really gay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so, um, it, I mean, it really depends on the individual. The, it's kind of like those terms don't really apply to us, and I say us because I am transgender as well. Um, but 
I mean, it's kind of like when you transition, you can be attracted to men, women, other other transgender folks, intersex people. You know, it the sky's the limit on possibilities. It doesn't necessarily it comes mean, down to love, right? Right. Yeah. Very right. good. Very okay. good connection. Okay. Yeah. That's very good connection. So, okay. Now, 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 some personal things. Okay. Sure. Uh, at, 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 at what age did you start your tr- your transition? At what age? I consider my start when I was twenty, and and. But it was before that. Yeah. Right. It it was really before that. That's when I actually like you know, made some tangible moves to I guess demonstrate my gender physically to the world. You know, that's when my gender expression started to change. Um, however, I knew, uh, oh man, uh, like maybe like four years old. Um, Sorry, f- 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 oh, yeah. thinking about, hey, this, I'm a little different. Yes, I'm a little, yes. Or, or, or I'm being dressed a little different than I want to be. Yes, right? yes, yes. I was like, I don't want to wear dresses. I mean, unless I go out and do drag with my drag queen right. friends. But, <laughs> but, um, no, I mean, I, I never really felt like I, I always tell people I, I always knew I wasn't a girl ever since I, told I was told I was. Right. And so. Okay. So your friends that you grew up with. Yeah. How do, how do they deal with it? Okay. So uh, you mean like. I mean, because, well, you're Zoyer. Yeah. And, but, and, and, and the man. Right, and, and, but not before. Right. Okay. So, I, I mean, how do they handle some the of them transition? deal with it well? Some of them don't deal with it at all. So, yeah, um, I think that some people were like a little awkward. They didn't really know what to say. But overall, I had a, I was blessed to have a very good experience. Um, I pretty much started telling everybody in high school, like I know, like I think that you know, there's something going on with me. I should have been born a boy, um, even though I had conceptualized it in my mind many, many years before that. But I started telling people in high school, junior high and high school, and then I didn't do anything about it till college. Um, many of my friends were gay and lesbian. They didn't understand. I actually was shocked. I thought that gay and lesbian people would understand because they're gay and lesbian right, right. and bisexual. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they would understand. And then I was like, don't they, don't they, doesn't everybody want to uh, transition? Doesn't everybody? Everybody want to um, uh, cross dress, you know. You know so. I thought that they were going to understand me, and they didn't. It was like they were more. There's was that a, the most confusing part? Yes, for now, me it was. Now, what about the yeah. parents? The par- my parents or uh, anybody's parents? Or uh, yours? My parents. Um, uh, I was a little tough at first, maybe. Yeah, it was a little tough yeah. at first. Yeah, it definitely was. I don't think. Like I said, I think they had a hard time understanding how can my child be born this way, female, but their brain was wired for a male. I don't understand that. And and they're thinking that I'm a girl who wants to be a guy. No, I'm a guy that was born wrong. You okay. know, that, that's the way I, I was thinking. Just, think of me as a male first, you know. Did, 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 they, did they bring it on themselves? Oh, no, what have I done? <laughs> it was me. It was me, right? <laughs> like, I think... Uh, oh, I don't... Um, I think that they probably did that inside. They didn't okay. voice it. Um, now they're very accepting. They come and watch me in the Pride Parade. Uh, my mom will even go to classrooms and educate with me. So they've come a long way in their understanding. It's been they've had they've had a long time. They've had since I was twelve. So many many years. It was that like, uh, f- uh, f- f- sixteen years. In your in, uh, uh, in your opinion, Zoyer, is, is this a little tougher for the men transitioning? Oh, for uh, male to female versus yeah. female to male. Um, I will say that not everybody who's transgender is transitioning. Some of them are happy identifying in the middle, um, or not at all. For those who are uh, male to female, I think there is a little bit more stigma. It depends on what you're talking about. Because I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> <It's, it's, it's, laughs> Acknowledgement is the first step. Um, but I think um, in some ways, yes, I do think they, they have it uh, more difficult uh, by appearances for some people. There are other people that they have a very good experience. It's so diverse. Does- before we get to get going, and, sure. and I'm sorry that we, that we talked about all these other things and not oh, no, as much good. about your your day. It's good. It's okay. Day. But but uh, uh, if there's people, kids out there, mm-hmm. teenagers, young twenties, that are having a hard time, mm-hmm. how do they get a hold of you guys? 
How do they get a hold of us? Well, our, they can call us. They can email us. They can show up at any of our events. Um, our number is 559-464-5806. Our email is transemotion at gmail.com. Um, we're also having a social uh, tomorrow at 7 p.m. at Ming's Restaurant, 1414 North Van Ness. Which is open again. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they got the roof back. <laughs> they got the, so tomorrow, 7 o'clock, 1414 North Van Ness. Um, that's our social... Um, I don't know if you want me to rattle off the event details. Whatever you want to do. Okay, Transgender Day of Remembrance, which is a day to honor those who passed away who were transgender, as well as to celebrate the many, many genders in our community. Um, it will uh, be on Saturday, November 22nd at 3 o'clock, runs till 8, at the Holistic Cultural and Education Wellness Center of Fresno. It's off Kings Canyon and Winery. It's the north... West Corner at 4879 East King Canyon, next to Big Lots. Again, our number is 464-5806. If you need more information, live entertainment, food, there'll be a memorial, free haircuts, nails, raffles, um, wonderful art display. It'll be a blast. And we work very hard on this event. We're looking very forward to seeing a large, large crowd there. We anticipate a lot of people and many great performances, great uh, community resources. We'll have a big informational resource fair. So lots to look forward to. Again, Saturday, November 22nd. Uh, 3 to 8 at Holistic Cultural Education Wellness Center of Fresno, Kings Canyon Winery next to Big Lots. Okay, and uh, before we go, one last thing, Zoyer. Uh, the parents sure. out there, do you have yeah. a program for them? Um, we're hoping to eventually develop one in the future. Um, what I would say is if, oh, the parents, we also, we, um, what, we, what we're doing right now is referring them to PFLAG, Parents, Families, Friends for Lesbian, Gays, and Transgender. Uh, they meet every second Sunday of the month at 2 p.m. at Wesley United Methodist Church. That is uh, 1343 East Barstow Avenue. Or they can call us at 4645806 and get more information. They're also welcome to come to our meetings. They're welcome to come to PFLAG. Um, they can go to both and get all the support that they need. Um, we're really happy to see more parents coming forward and helping us with our events and, and giving us the support and we give them the support. It's a very reciprocal um, what, friendship oftentimes it develops into. Zoyer Zendel, always you. good to see you. Thank Thanks you. for coming by. Thank you.